When you think of the Czech Republic, you probably think of Prague. And when you think of Prague, you think of what? I would say the first thing people think about is history, architecture, culture, music. Music. Why is music so big? Well, you might have not known, but a lot of the world-famous composers, Dvořák, Janáček, Smetana, lived and composed in Prague, Mozart as well. So uh, music is something that you know people love to do, explore, and actually uh, they, a lot of people play music themselves. So when you get beyond the history, the culture, the architecture, and you want to delve into the experience of Czech culture, what are some of the things that a travel agent could do with their customers or for their customers? So if we stick to the themes that we mentioned before, uh, when it comes to music, um, they can take them to different festivals, they can take them to theaters, they can arrange private tours in, um, in theaters, in, in, uh, in museums, etc. Uh, for people who like, for instance, culinary travel, they can enjoy private uh, culinary classes, they can uh, tour the breweries, because beer is a big part of Czech culture. Uh, also, wine is becoming big, um, so they can also tour some of the wine cellars, um, things like that. Yeah. All right. Now, if I'm a travel agent and I've got a customer, who would you say, how would you describe the, the typical customer that would be a Czech Republic type of customer coming to Prague? Well, I think there are different groups. Uh, we have a lot of young travelers, a lot of students uh, who come to the Czech Republic. NYU has a campus in Prague, so there's a big group of students coming. But we definitely get the cultural savvy traveler who, um, as I said, enjoys the historic culture and architecture. So it's usually you know, high-end uh, traveler who did before, uh, let's say, London, Paris, right. uh, Amsterdam, and then the second wave of Europe, they visit Prague. Uh, so, Vienna, for so Prague would be a great choice as a, as a jumping off point for someone who's a seasoned traveler, been to Europe once or twice, yeah. and now they're coming back to immerse themselves yeah. even further. Yeah. All right, this is Michaela. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.